edged and in the gap. Fortuitous boundary. Just a hint of a way swing for Jaden Seals and a despairing dive to his left by Nkrumah Bonner. Excellent delivery from Jaden Seals, pitching it up, looking for that swing, getting the swing, getting the edge. But unfortunately for him, it finds the gap and finds the boundary. And that's the sort of areas he'd be looking to hit with more regularity. This presents the full face of the bat, and it goes for four. And that's real confidence if you're opener in the first hour of a day's play. 13 without loss. Two fours so far in the innings. This one uh, confident push down the ground, just covering the line of the ball. Knowing fully well that Kima Roach will get the ball to angle into the right handers. Runs away for four, two full and two straight. Yeah, he tried to get a little bit straighter, didn't he? Jaden Seals, but two straight on that occasion. And easily dealt with by Imran Bott. Really bread and butter for any opening batsman. This is confirmation of the no ball. A couple deliveries ago. And that is something that they've been working on as a bowling unit throughout the white ball leg. Hold him. Just bringing this one in. Set him up uh, with a few deliveries going away. And finally, Kima Roach and the West Indies strike. Excellent delivery from Kima Roach. Full in swinging. Breaches the defense and gets the wicket. Gets an important breakthrough inside edge. Just trying to hit that one a little bit too hard and not getting control that he would have wanted. Imran Butt. Early wicket for the West Indies. He goes for 11, 21 for one. Brilliant, brilliant from Seals into that green area. And the deviation doing the work. Yeah, this is good. Being rewarded, Seals, for that line that he's been persistently and naggingly bowling at South Africa, at Pakistan batters. He gets the reward, just gets his batter to play at this one. I think they're checking for a no-ball call. Otto no-ball obviously being worked by the television umpire. So an anxious wave. I wouldn't like to be playing in this era. Must be very tight if they're waiting this long. It was very tight indeed. Well, Abbott is gone. For nine, 21 for two. Roach goes full. So it's risk reward when you go full. Wickets come, but they can also prove expensive. Just over pitched a bit with this one, Kima Roach. And nicely driven, full face. And driven nicely for four runs. And the umpires will not want to risk any sort of damage to this surface. I don't think this is going to last very long, but it's just here, central at Sabina Park.
No great haste. Ground staff just uh, getting set to cover the square as the players uh, leave the field. Just 17 overs uh, so far in this test match. Excellent delivery. Huge shout and he's given him. Or will it be reviewed? He reviews it immediately as Ali. So we'll have to have another look at this one. Third on party television director, we have a player review for caught behind. The original decision on field is out. I've already checked and established it's a fair delivery. Can I move on to front on spin vision, please? Third on party TV director. Front on spin vision. Um, you don't have front on? Okay, it's quite close to the bat. I'm going to need ultra edge to confirm if there's any bat involved. Ultra edge coming up. There's a flat line as the ball passes the bat. Just rock and roll it for me, please, James. Yeah, there is a flat line as the ball passes next to the bat. There's no bat involved. I'm satisfied. Can you go back on field to Gregory? Gregory, I'm going to ask you to stay with your original not out decision. You're on screen now. Has to reverse his decision. Gregory Bathwit, of course, he would have given him out, caught behind. And the replays would have shown that there was some daylight between bat and ball. Nice firm push down the ground. Outfield would have been slowed by the rainfall. I think it's good running. I think it's excellent running. I just want to check to make sure, and rightly so, they seem to be safe. For run out. Can I have your best side on angle, please? Just roll it through, roll it through, roll it through. Bats down, bats down. Just take it back, take it back for me. Take it back for me, please, James. Bats down, wickets are broken. I'm ready to make my decision for the big screen. My decision is not out. I repeat, not out. Much closer than we thought. Not out, as you would have seen there. Maybe it would have been an opportunity for Jason Holder just to cash out and break the stumps. Excellent from Baba Azam. All of his runs will be scored elegantly. That's for sure. All along the ground and ends the, the over with a boundary. 42 for two. But this one found the middle of the bat, the middle of Baba Azam's bat. Not going to miss out on that. Full and wide. And absolutely Ooh. glorious. Huge shot for ABW. He's given him Gregory Brathwaite. Shoulder and arms. Aza Ali, would he review this time? Just uh, having a conversation with Baba Azam. The only concern might be height. And he does review it. So we'll have a look at this one once again. Played review for LBW. Third on party television director. We have a player review for LBW. The original decision is out. I've already checked the front foot. It's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Yep, so no shot has been paid, played. Can you move straight on to ball tracking? Thank you. Just waiting on ball tracking, Greg. Pitching outside off, impact on first call, wickets missing. I'm ready to go back on screen to Gregory. Gregory, I'm going to have to ask you to overturn your decision to not out. You're on screen now. Once again, he has to overturn his decision. Gregory brought with and a reprieve for Aza Ali. And you can see why the umpire gave that out. Another huge shout. This time he says not out. Will West Indies review. Let's have a look if Craig Brathwaite does. 
I think he does review. I think the question will be whether it hits the pod first. Let's have a look. Review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already checked and established it's a fair delivery. Can we move on to front on spin vision, please? <laughs> yeah, there's definitely a deflection. Um, ball both close to both bat and pad. I'm going to need ultra edge to confirm if pad is first. Ultra edge coming up, Greg. Yeah, there's a spike on ultra edge as the ball impacts the pad. I'm satisfied there's pad involved. Can you move on to ball tracking when available, please? Just waiting on ball tracking, Gregory. Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off, impact umpire's call. Wicket's hitting. James, I'm ready to go back on field to Gregory. Gregory, you can stay with your original not out decision. You're on screen now. Not out it remains. Another reprieve for Azali. I think he just at the last moment decided to touch that down to the boundary for four. Not sure that he wanted to play that. Might even have been a slow delivery. Got four. Not altogether convincing. Go upstairs. Copy, Joel. Player review for LBW. Original decision not out. Third on part of television director. We have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already checked the front foot and established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Yeah, there doesn't appear to be any bat. Can you just give me ultra edge to confirm? Ultra edge coming up, Joe. There's a flat line as the ball passes. There is no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking, James, when available? Pitching outside off, impact in line. Wicket's missing. James, can you go back on field to Joel? Joel, can you stay with your original not out decision? You're on screen. Wouldn't be surprised if Azar Ali scores a thousand in this innings. Pretty decent on that sort of length, Babarazm. And this, I think, is Jaden says not being sure what he should be bowling. Is this a short ball to try a bouncer, or is that a delivery that he just lost a little bit of rhythm? It was way too short, but not bouncer length, and just pulled across by Babarazm. This time, the West Indies finally strikes and takes a wicket. Jason Holder doing a brilliant job in the cordon. And Jaden Seals gets his second. Yeah, life just running out for Azra Ali. A wonderfully taken in slip by Jason Holder. Azra Ali would have had Four decisions appealed, two reviewed by himself, two reviewed by West Indies, and now he has to go for 17. Pakistan 68 for three. He's out off the inside edge there, celebrating, appealing the West Indians, unmoved the umpire, Joel Wilson. Brathwaite goes for the review once again. The bat, the 
side edge. I'm going to need ultra edge to confirm if there's any bat involved. Still waiting on ultra edge, Joel. Still waiting on ultra edge. Ultra edge coming up. Yep, just, just rock and roll it. Just rock and roll it. Yep, there's a spike on ultra edge, Joel, as the ball is next to the back. James, I'm going to I'm ready to go back on field to Joel. Joel, I'm going to ask to ask you to overturn your decision to out. You're on screen now. Double strike. The West Indies gets the prize wicket of uh, Baba Azam. Just from the way he reacted, you knew that there was an edge. And upon review, the West Indians, they were right. Zam goes for 30, 68 for four now. Short delivery. He rocked on to it. Mohamed Rizwan doesn't miss out on this occasion again. Gets a four. Definitely showing his class, Mohamed Rizwan. Just gets on the line of this one and pulls away very comfortably. Ah! Loud appeal. Oh oh Looked initially like it was outside the line of the off stump. Jin Seals is uh, very animated at the moment and prompts his captain to go for the review. Review for LBW. Third on part of the television director, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already checked the front foot and established a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Uh, there doesn't appear to be any bat. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm. Ultra Edge coming up, Greg. Yep, there's a flat line as the ball passes next to the bat. There is no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking when available, please, James? Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off. Impact umpire's call. Wicket's hitting. James, I'm ready to go back on field to Gregory. Gregory, stay with your original not out decision. You're on screen now. Smashed away. Mohamed Rizwan. Very attacking usually. And gets some width and gets the length and punishes that one. Pugnacious little cricketer. Mohamed Rizwan plays exactly like this in one day cricket or test cricket. This is a batsman who has confidence in his abilities. That was not a bad delivery. Just spanked through cover point four. It's the third time in this innings already for Mohamed Rizwan that he started the over with a boundary, putting pressure on the bowler. I know it's test match cricket, but he's been so productive in T20 cricket in 2021. The most runs in T20 internationals in a calendar year and so much more cricket to be played. T20 International, that is, for the rest of the year. So he's going to set that benchmark so much higher. The resting field change here by Craig Bradford. He's taking the man out of point. He's put him down to the backward point boundary. And just two slips in the gully. Go straight this time. Absolutely beautiful. From Mohamed Rizwan, full face of the bat, excellent timing, and another boundary. Shot of the day. He just waited for this to get to him, used the bowler's pace, middle of the bat. That's the kind of shot you stand and you just admire. Oh! Inside, Ezra might have gone through bat and pad. Some confusion out in the middle, that's for sure. Again, that full delivery you know, from Cal Mears and some movement, some inward movement. Let's have a look. Scramble seam. 
Teams have missed the bat. In there and gone. Finds the fielder. Ruston Chase, a simple catch. And Jason Holder and finally gets some success. Mohamed Rizwan, the batsman dismissed, just falling over and clipping that one in the middle of, of Ruston Chase. He would be very disappointed with this, Rizwan, because you're correct, he's falling over, no control at all. Ruston Chase takes a relatively easy catch. Boy, did he deserve that, Jason Holder. Brilliantly bold. Mohamed Rizwan goes for 23, he's 101 for 5. Brilliantly fielded. Things you can do only when you're 19 years of age. Shows his attitude, his commitment to the cause. Didn't seal, just diving away. Unlucky for Roach. But once again, you could see Fahim drawn in by the angle round the wicket and then it just leaves him a touch. Does commit you to playing. Many times with your hands alone. No movement of that front foot towards the ball because uh, he's making the accommodation for the angle coming into him. Catch it! That's a lovely shot. Too full from Roston Chase, but very pleasant drive. Just over pitching a bit, Roston Chase uh, might be thinking he has to invite the aggressive stroke just before the break. A little too wide, too full, but all credit to Ashraf. Keeping it down, getting the gap. There he goes, first delivery on Caribbean soil. In test match cricket, that is. You can see it's a boundary. Not the ideal start. Just stood up a bit. Fawad Alam was uh, waiting for it. Yes, Joey, man. 123 for five and uh, indeed we come to the T interval Pakistan 123 for five it's been a good uh, effort between Fawad and Fahim 22 the partnership West Indies once again getting wickets in this session post lunch session three wickets and they'll feel that they still very much in control of the innings. Jason Holder with his first wicket in this uh, post-lunch session. Both Roach and Seal supporting with a wicket apiece as well. And it was an extended session because of the fact of there being a rain interruption in that first session. So Pakistan trying their best to recover from a difficult start. Partnership of 21 was made between Bot and Ali at the top of the innings. They both uh, got dismissed. It was left up to the seniors. Azhar Ali and Baba Azam who put on 47. They look quite good. Azhar Ali in particular got quite a number of uh, close calls and he felt that he might have gone on to get a big one but it was not to be Jason Holder taking a brilliant catch off the bowling of Jaden Seals to get rid of uh, Azhar Ali and Baba Azam eventually succumbing to Kima Roach Mohamed Rizwan tried Jason Holder got him his uh, first and only wicket so far in this test match In terms of the bowlers, the four seamers, they really showed commitment. Roach and Seals, uh, they were the main wicket takers. Uh, bowled very well in partnership with each other. Kyle Mayers 
was that stock bowler that kept persisting. And Jason Holder was quite unlucky. He only uh, picked up one wicket. And at the end of this uh, post lunch session, we saw Roston Chase and Jamel Warrican. Shot and pulled away. Gets enough on it to get the boundary. Fahim Ashraf, another one for him. Already scored two boundaries. That will be his third. He looks a busy player. It wasn't all that short. Excellent from Fahim Ashraf. Just a gentle push down the ground. Timing impeccable. That little closer turned out to be too close. So something in between the two previous deliveries is what Seals will be aiming for. But again, positive in his stroke play. Edged, will challenge the boundary, gets there. And so another boundary for Fahim Ashraf, five now for him, 141 for five. Over the keeper's head, runs given. So something on that one from Fawad Alam, and again aggression from Jaden Seals. But it sets down a marker for the innings and for the series because it's the second short ball that Seals has bowled to him in this spell, neither of which he's looked convincing playing. Gets the gap. Might not have the timing to get to the boundary. In fact, it does. Just dribbles away. Keeps the fielders interested all the way, but in the end, the ball wins the race. Yeah, vital runs. Ah! Gets this one away. For him, Ashraf. Another boundary for him is seventh off the innings so far. 175 for five. And as expected, those runs coming a little bit quicker as compared to the previous sessions. Again, gets a good stride in, an over pitch delivery, and four runs to Fahim. Yes, the Jason Holder would know this is probably the worst delivery is bold for the day. Very much pitched up for him, really just bent that left knee, just got to the pitch of that. A little bit of airborne initially, but got it through the mid off area four. Quick single is their chance. That's very close. The umpire will go upstairs for support. But the West Indies, they're quite confident. They think they have this wicket. Division Director, we have an umpire review for a run out. Can I start with a side on angle, please? Roll it through. Bats down. Wickets are broken. Bat has not made the line. I'm ready to make my decision for the big screen. If available, my decision is out. I repeat, out. If not available, we'll go back to Gregory on field, that square leg, and get him to signal out. So the breakthrough comes uh, for the West Indies. The partnership broken. One that threatened the innings. Very sad indeed for Fahim Ashraf. He goes for 44, 186 for six.
sweetly timed. A gorgeous looking shot here from Fawad Alam. Gets him four. This is a confident shot, considering that he's been involved in a run out recently. This one he came forward, and Jason Holder, slow delivery, came in again. Just checked the shot at the last moment. Kept the ball down. Edge and gone. Just took the outside edge, and it was a diving Joshua De Silva that finished it. He's done a good job today, as Joshua De Silva. Okay, a couple of buys here and there, but he's done a really good job. Mears did a good job here. Bunks just in front of the man of first slip. The gloves takes it. Mears gets his first wicket. And yes, you sure he's gone for no score. 190 for seven. Oh, goodness. It does bring up 54 forward Alam. At the moment, it stands as its only half century in addition to 400s. But all of Pakistan can feel proud of the way his second coming has gone. Hassan Ali goes hard and plays very positively. I think this is what is going to be expected from Hassan Ali. I'll just go and once he's going, he goes very hard. And with slip, three slips in, one has now come out. He's forced one out because he's playing his shots. That's in a catching position, top of your screen down at a third man, not right on the boundary. Four more vital runs to the team. Leg buys, it looks like, but two of a team total. He's tried to make the adjustment and go tighter into off stump. Overcompensated. String in his line. Going down, going into his legs. Doesn't mind striking it, Hassan Ali, on the up. Very positive and, and living up to his words that he's working on his batting. Yeah, this is a really good shot by Hassan Ali. It's pitched up by Seals. He stands and delivers. Very good from Seals. Very, very good. That man strategically placed there, Kyle Mears. Your words between Hassan Ali and a couple of the West Indians as he walks off. But this was good bowling by Seals. Early on, we'd, we would have seen him take out Mears from that second slip position and placed him in that short, fine leg position. Hassan Ali played straight into his hands, Kyle Mears. He goes for 14. Pakistan, 217 for eight. Got him. That is huge from Jason Holder. So reward starting to come belatedly in this final session for the West Indies. This has been a really good bowling by Jason Holder. He just kept nagging, nagging. But this, this ball in particular, edged on, played onto his thumbs. But this is good work from West Indies. Two wickets, two overs. Forward Alam, stalwart so far. For Pakistan has to go for 56. Pakistan 217 for nine. 
two and two and it's all over in this first innings for Pakistan Jason Ola all smiles last five wickets have gone down for 31 runs that is a brilliant comeback after the first 40 minutes or so after tea this is a good stuff from Jason Holder, and this has been a good spell from the Pacers. Might be short lived. Might be short lived. I think they're checking for a no ball. No. That's the end of that. Jason Holder, three wickets. Seals, three. Couple for Roach as well. Abbas goes without scoring. 217 all out in their first innings. Edge and taken. A brilliant catch. Diving forward. Might want to check that. He was diving forward. He celebrated immediately. Imran Bot seems to be the fielder just having a discussion i just think that they might want to check that with the third umpire but from the reaction from the fielder he was absolutely convinced like the all are in yeah, but was convinced and his captain too immediately um, applauded him and hugged him the umpire still debating my first thought is that this might just have dropped in front but if in but took this then it's absolutely magnificent yep Ball is in inside his hands. I've got fingers under the ball. I'm ready to make my decision, James, for the big screen. My decision is out. I repeat, out. In the end, the an excellent catch from Abid Ali. Never easy. Diving forward and slip. And confirmation of that from the umpire, Craig Brathwith will have to depart without scoring. Karen Powell, beg your pardon, without scoring, one for one, the West Indies. The future of Edward is given him as well. He reviews it immediately. And Kruma Bonner. Drama of the highest order here at Sabina. Need to front on spin vision, please. Yeah, there doesn't appear to be any bot. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm, James. Ultra Edge coming up, Greg. There's a gap between bat and ball. Flat line, no bat involved. Can you proceed to ball tracking, please? Just waiting on ball tracking, Greg. Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets, umpires call. James, can you go back on field to Gregory? Gregory, stay with your original out decision. You're on screen now. Umpires call. He's given him two and two for Abbas and a golden duck for Nkrumah Bonner. On his home venue here at Sabina Park, the West Indies now have lost two quick wickets, one for two. Bonner's first movement was backward. Patrick Ball. Easily negotiated. The spear from Abbas, he knows that was not the best delivery to bowl. Just a shake of the head in disappointment. But excellent over. Double strike for Pakistan. News back here at uh, Sabina Park. The umpires, they've called play on this, uh, the first day of the first test between the West Indies and Pakistan. Ending uh, a difficult period 
for the West Indian batsmen. Captain Craig Brathwaite and Roston Chase. They survive. Will resume tomorrow. Pakistan, on the other hand, will be quite pleased with their two wickets. Should be four leg buys. And we await confirmation from the umpire. Yep. Four added to the score. Just a little bit too straight from Shaheen Shah Fridi. Every little bit will help in terms of the score for the West Indies. Still looking to get that reader. Even yesterday evening in the over that he bowled was on either side of the wicket, still striving for right areas. And again. Another boundary for the West Indies. Uh, not a good start for Shaheen Shah Afridi. A carbon copy of the previous ball. Straight into the thigh pad, glanced away. And four leg buys the result. Beautifully played. Real classy shot from Ruston Chase to end the over. 21 for two. Another very good shot from the West Indies. This time, Craig Brathwaite gets it off the middle of the bat and gets another boundary. He just waited and waited Craig Brathwaite for a ball to come in his region and that's what he does so well he's patient full face of the bat not much of a follow through but timing more than anything else and really elegant and graceful from the west indian captain very good piece of fielding in the slip cordon saving pakistan runs baba azam the captain Diving away to his right. Sometimes the most infuriating thing for a bowler is when you do get those outside edges, they trickle away down to third man for four. But it's also a sign of how good so far Chase and Brathwaite have been in that marginal errors in length are being punished. Yeah, this is good stuff from Brathwaite. Over pitch delivery. And as he has previously done with deliveries that are over pitched, driven nicely down the ground. You make your own luck. Yeah, did try to pull away. Just maneuvered this one. Rust and cheese. Went down, didn't uh, fly in the air, didn't produce a chance. Ross and Chase wouldn't mind, he gets four. Well, he got four, but I don't think that he was really confident as to what this ball is going to do. The seam is scrambled, just uh, kept it down well, but it was the outer part of the bat. <laughs> Hassan Ali prevails. The partnership has been broken. And it's an important wicket for Pakistan. Well, that's a terrible, terrible shot, I think, by Chase, because there was no need for this at all. That's just a beach shot. The ball is pitched about off stump, just going outside off stump. There was absolutely no need for that. Look at the face of the bat. It's going to the offside. His body is going to the leg side. Yashir celebrates as does Pakistan. Chase has gone for 21, it's 51 for three. Oh. 
Good timing. That's probably going to get away to the boundary. That's really, really good timing by Craig Bradford. He probably would be very pleased with that. I think that would have been the best shot this morning because he didn't really seem to put a lot of energy into that, which means it hit the middle of the bat. The timing absolutely perfect. Bowlers don't like this because it goes just to the left of the bowler. Couldn't stop it. There's so much pace. Look at that timing and hitting. Perfect. Luckily for Craig Brathwaite, he didn't get an outside edge. Was there something in the water that they had at the break? Because this is the first fall shot he's played all day. The guy is bowling leg cutters. It's pitched outside off stump. Now the only way that's going to go is towards first slip. That's really well bowled. Beautiful from Craig Brathwaite. Another boundary in the V's. And he would have enjoyed this one because this one was pitched up a little bit more by Mohamed Abbas. Maybe not as quickly. So he just came forward, caressed it more than hit it. Again, bowlers don't like that the ball passing right back past them just to the left. But the timing here again has been excellent. Goes for a thickish outside edge. No third man, so will get the boundary. Not in the direction that he'd have wanted, but typical of Jermaine Blackwood. Slashing hard at this one, Jermaine Blackwood. Not fully in control. There we talk about that movement, that angle across. Might just have dropped short off the wicket keeper, Mohamed Rizwan. Seemed to have been an edge. Shaheen Shah was convinced of it. It's just whether or not it touched the ground, which I think it did. Let's have a closer look. Yeah, this is beautiful. Oh, it did get an edge. It just dropped in front of the keeper. Across the wall, again, typical German Blackwood style. Gets a boundary. Another one. Not totally in control, but this is the way he plays. He likes to play his shots, as mentioned previously, Jermaine Blackwood. Not being fully in control. Well, he negotiates it comfortably. Jermaine Blackwood, another maiden. And still 81 for three. After 30 overs, it is lunchtime here on day two in the first test match in the West Indies losing a solitary wicket of Ruston Chase who up until that point was playing superbly Craig Brathwaite remains resolute for the West Indies 26 overs in this session and just the one wicket 79 runs for the West Indies so they came into today's play and two for two and at lunch 81 for three i'm sure they'll be pleased with that effort like i mentioned a good start for ruston chase but unfortunately he wasn't able to push on craig brathwaite continues to demonstrate his patience 35 and jermaine blackwood 30 deliveries for his 14 and captain and vice captain out in the middle the wickets for pakistan Mohammed abbas yesterday evening and one today for Hassan Ali the others have tried just the one over yesterday for Yasser Shah we haven't seen him today just yet Matt summary so far West Indies still trailing by 136 but Brathwaite and Blackwood look pretty tidy pretty well and set for that chase. 
Important runs for Blackwood and the West Indies. Yes, not all too convincing at all by Blackwood. I think this one came back, maybe kept a little bit low. Outside edge, through where four slip would have been. Where probably that man down at the backward square leg boundary could have been more useful. Not out is the decision on field. Ten seconds, Babo is thinking about it. And they go for it. Third on party television director, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already checked and established this a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Yeah, the ball is both very close, the batting pad. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm, James, if there's any bat involved. Just waiting on Ultra Edge, Joe. Still waiting on Ultra Edge. Ultra Edge coming up. The ball passes under the bat. There's a flat line on Ultra Edge. There's no bat involved. James, can you move on to ball tracking, please? Ball tracking coming up, Joel. Pitching in line. Impact umpires call wickets missing. James, can you go back on field to Joel? Joel, stay with your original not out decision. You're on screen now. Good decision by the umpire. Brathwaite's driving today has been imperious. He's not a strong player, but his driving has found good touch today. A shine shot of Freed is bowling around the wicket, but this one was a half volley. And all any batsman worth his salt will do is just come forward, hit it with the middle of the bat, caress it through a whitish mid-off, and that's four. The ball is a little bit impatient. Yet again, he gets out in this region. Hits the ball uppishly to mid on. Mohamed Abbas makes no mistake. And another good partnership is broken. And not what he would have wanted out of this shot, Jimmy Blackwood. But yeah, his aggressive intent. Gets him out. Blackwood has to go for 22. West Indies 100 for four. Loud appeal, loud appeal, and the dreaded finger goes up. Joel Wilson agrees with Shane Shaw Freedy. Ten seconds. Carl Mears. Will communicate with his captain. Might just go for the review or not. Too late now. So wicket number five for Pakistan. That's a double strike for them. Yeah, we've seen this previously. Mohamed Abbas taking two wickets, double wickets in his over. And again... Chain Shah Freedy strikes in this over. Getting Kyle Mayers. He has to go without scoring. West Indies 100 for five. Four slips in a gully. Three fielders catching on the onside. And a short mid off. Here we go. Patrick Ball. Avoided by Jason Holder. Lord appeal once again, and the finger goes up. 
Was there bat on that one from Jason Holder? We'll have to wait and see, but doesn't look too good for the West Indies. And he goes for the review. Joel, review for LBW. Third on par to television director, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is out. I've already checked the front foot and established a severe delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Ball appears very close to both bat and pad. James, I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm if any bat involved. Ultra Edge coming up. There's a flat line, flat line. Gap between bat and ball. There is no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking, please? Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside leg. Can you go back on for you to Joel? Joe, I'm going to ask you to overturn your decision to not out. You're on screen now. That's perfect. That's deluxe. Excellent stuff from Jason Holder. Yeah, very pleasing to see. Nicely driven. Just earlier, you mentioned how that's one of his strengths. And just in the arc, gets that stride in and drives nicely. Goes towards that vacant third man area, gets the four unintended, but he'll take them nonetheless closer, one closer to that half century. A couple of times the ball has gone off the edge to a fourth slip position. Fahim getting this to bounce a little bit. There we go. Well, actually, it's about a second gully. Brings up the 50 for Craig Brathwaite. A boundary to do that. So elegantly played his 22nd test match half century for the West Indian captain and a timely one as well. Definitely a timely one. 139 balls. He's batted a long time. Seven fours. Strike rate only 38. 114 for five. Hello, Darren Ganga. Hello to you and Bishop. Uh, finally, we see the introduction of Yasir Shah. Nice stroke. Jason Holder will be hoping that he can keep this going because the West Indies need it. Reputed to be a good player of spin. An over pitch delivery. Jason Holder using his uh, long reach. Getting a good stride in, going down the ground. Easy runs for Jason Holder, well played. Again. Really getting into stride, Jason Holder. We saw him use a similar approach uh, in white ball cricket uh, when the West Indies played Australia. He was very quick to pounce. On anything short from the spinners and more so when they over pitch deliveries. Sometimes you can see something in someone even though at the That's moment time. they're not the great player you want them to be. 148 for five. It's T and Brathwaite's T will be very good because he's been brilliant. Started his innings yesterday evening, batted throughout the first two sessions today. 60 from 167 balls, nearly 300 minutes at the crease. That is leadership. And it should inspire the others in this West Indian batting lineup already. Jason Holder, the former captain, showing support to Brathwaite and the cause. 
Westernese trail by 69 as they go into T. And Pakistan will have some thinking to do. Still a pitch that's offering something for the bowlers. As I mentioned, we'll hear Jermaine on his story during this T interval. Still work to do, though, because West Indies still trailing by 69. Three noughts in the innings. Karen Powell, who got dismissed in that first uh, day, alongside Nkrumah Bonner, just one delivery to him and Carl Mears. It was a really good partnership uh, between Craig Brathwaite and Ruston Chase. 50 they produce, and things look quite positive for the West Indies, then wicked spell. Blackwood had a slight partnership with his captain. They put on 49, and now Holder and Brathwaite, 48 in this unbeaten partnership. Two wickets to Mohammed Abbas yesterday evening, two to Shaheen Afridi in a lovely little spell today, and one to Hassan Ali, the wicket of Roston Chase. Fahim has gone past the outside edge on a couple of occasions, but still trailing by 69, a lot of work to do. For both teams across this test match, it's fascinating and compelling. It goes away to the boundary. Just dribbles in, gets there now. So a boundary for Craig Broth with his eighth in the innings. So far, it's been the hallmark of his cricket. Some of his driving down the ground earlier today was very good. Graceful. Just lent into that one. And very well controlled from Jason Holder. That was very pleasing. Really elegant. And again, almost identical to the one a couple deliveries ago from Jason Holder. Moves on to 48. Such a languid stroke. With on it, but invited by the fullness of length. And so this is where the bowler has to realize, hey, I need to throttle back just a little bit. In the air, but gets the gap, gets a boundary. Fortuitous, it might say. Doesn't mind for Craig Brathwaite. Another four for him, 182 for five. the last ball of the previous over out a portion of the bat in the air but just wide of the fielder the forward alum in that backward point position just clears the man Shane Shah Freddy had his hands open as if to say there was a chance but on the other hand, celebration for Jason Holder. Gets to his 50 and gets there in style. It's 11.50, this is really, really nice. I mean, he might think that he would have not gotten this the right way. Enticed to pull. Just over the top of the man who has been placed strategically out at mid-wicket, maybe a straightish square leg. Cut away. Jason Holder pouncing on this one, putting pressure immediately on Yasser Shah. Yes, yeah, so way too short, way too wide. Jason Holder is a very tall man. Yes, Shah, much too wide. 
man at extra cover on the boundary now has been left out there. And the edge comes once more for Pakistan. And Holder has to depart. They might just check for the new ball as well. Well, the Pakistanis are celebrating, but it's a little bit of a muted celebration because there's going to be a check for the no ball. Yeah. So they are just waiting for that decision. That seemed to be okay. But he has persevered, and he might just have had his man. Not sure. He's still waiting. Yeah, they're celebrating now. And Jason Holder. Again being tested. Another very good delivery from Fahim Ashraf. And finds the outside edge of the bat of Jason Holder. A special innings from him. Half century, 58. 196 for six. This is really good from Brathwaite. Continues the fine work we've seen from Jason Holder with the bat and follows suit. A short delivery pulled away through the mid-wicket region. I was advocating for a, a better field than this, but with a long hop like this and this patch of a mid-wicket. Nice touch. Just guiding it because he got the shortness of length and a bit of width. It just continues to be so prolific. Greg Brathwaite. Just using the lack of pace just to guide this one through. Four runs. Into the 90s, Brathwaite goes. Yeah, we've seen him do this so well during his innings today. Just using that pace, but again with soft hands. I think it's about not being predictive. Very well balanced in playing that shot. Shaheen Afridi dived over it, the old Harbour Bridge. But West Indies now have a lead by two. Yeah, just patience for the silver. Nicely driven on the onside. We'll look for two. Craig Brathwaite, it'll be tight. Direct hit. This is absolutely tragic if it's out. It seems to be that way from the reaction of the Pakistan fielders. And you can see from the expression from Craig Brathwaite, he knows as well. Let's have a look. Yeah, bales are broken. Just take it back. Bales are broken. Bat is well short of the crease. I'm ready to make my decision for the big screen. My decision is out. I repeat, out. Unfortunate demise for Captain Craig Brathwaite. Decision will be out, as you would have seen from the replay, direct hit, well short of his ground. The fourth time that Craig Brathwaite has been dismissed in the 90s. An excellent innings, nonetheless, of course, he would have wanted to get that 10th test match century. Not to be the West Indies, 221 for seven. Over the top, gets to the pitch of that one. Kima Roach and gives it a whack to get a boundary. Roach is not a tall man, but he's definitely given that what you call the long handle, given a little bit of generous flight. 
pulled across the line, but he hit it hard enough. Excellent from Joshua De Silva. Very much in control of that one. Good timing and placement. And gets his second boundary. Played absolutely perfectly. He waited for the ball to come to him. Didn't push, didn't push. There he waits, he waits. It's just about middle and leg and just plays it with the ball. Goes through mid-wicket, four. The ball is harder, which means it's going to scoot to the boundary very much quicker. Goes away for four. Quickly down towards that fine leg boundary. Runs given. So might have been a bit of an inside edge from Kima Roach. Might just be lucky here, Kima Roach, because I actually think that this might have gotten him out. LBW swung in. Actually, was going down leg. He just got an inside edge four. Edged. Spoons over the fielders and challenges the boundary. Good bit of fielding. Limits them to just two. So nothing going the way of Mohamed Abbas. 244 for seven. Mohamed Abbas uh, just probing away once more with the second new ball. A little bit of bat and glove. Taking off the shoulder of Kimar Roach's bat. Inward movement and appeal, and the finger goes up. Gregory Brathwit thinks it's out. What does he has to say about that? Kimar Roach, will he review? We'll wait and see. He has. The original decision is out. I've already checked the front foot. It's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Uh, there doesn't appear to be any bat involved. Um, can I confirm that with Ultra Edge? Just waiting on Ultra Edge, Greg. Ultra Edge coming up. It's a flat line. Flat line as the ball passes the bat. There's no bat involved. Can you please move on to ball tracking, James? Ball tracking coming up, Gregory. Pitching outside off, impact in line. Wickets, umpires call. James, I'm ready to go back on field to Gregory. Greg, stay with your original out decision. You're on screen now. Uh, confirmation, umpires call. Kima Roach goes for 13. West Indies, 249 for eight. Yesterday, the umpires made a call, and Pakistan used uh, their spin bowler and that of Yasser Shah. Now, the umpires think that it's too dangerous, the light, not to the standard required, and they've called play on this, the second day of this first test match between the West Indies and Pakistan. Nice pace and bounce, uh, as we've seen on the surface. It would be remiss of me not to add my congratulations uh, to Pakistan in celebration of its Independence Day. As you saw earlier, Pakistan team celebrating with the singing of the national anthem. I know back in Pakistan, there will be a lot of flag hosting, award ceremonies, singing of that uh, patriotic national anthem. Pakistan gaining independence in 1947. Doesn't need that. Castled. Shaheen Shah Freedy gets an early wicket. And it's nine down now. Perfect in swinging Yorker from Shaheen Shah Freedy. Such a dangerous bowler when he gets it right. 
too good, way too good for Jumel Warrican. And he's enjoyed that. Some of those, some of those deliveries that he can get. Absolutely unplayable. Warrican goes for one. West Indies, two five, two for nine. Takes a single. And a nice piece of feeling to prevent four. The ideal effort that Mohamed Abbas would have wanted. The umpires will just check to ensure that it was uh, properly saved and there was no contact with the advertising triangle. Both hands copying the ball, getting it back in time. And what's critical is uh, if the release was done before his body made contact with uh, the advertising cushion there. From that first image, it looked quite good. From this angle, also looks good. Ah! Lord appeal, Lord appeal. And the umpire believes uh, that he's out, but Joshua De Silva reviews. For LBW, third umpire to television director, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is out. I've already established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Yeah, there doesn't appear to be any bat. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm. Ultra Edge coming up. There's a flat line as the ball is next to the bat. There's no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking, please, James? Ball tracking coming up, Joe. Pitching in line, impact in line, wickets hitting. James, can you go back on field to Joel, please? Joe, stay with your original out decision. You're on screen now. Confirmation of the wicket and the very good decision made by umpire Joel Wilson. Joshua De Silva was just being optimistic with that decision to review. And the West Indies innings close on 253 with a lead of 36. Pakistan did exactly what they wanted to do, which is to get these remaining two wickets quite quickly. The batting for the West Indies led, of course, by their captain, Craig Brathwaite. Agonizingly short of what would have been a 10th test century on 97. Another useful contribution from Jason Holder, 58 and some stats. Ruston Chase, Jim and Blackwood, they'll be disappointed with the way they got dismissed. In the end, all out for 253 with a lead of 36. In terms of the bowling, well, we spoke about how good Mohamed Abbas uh, has been with the ball. Uh, his good clusters, producing three wickets for just 43 runs. Shaheen Shah Afridi, also excellent in this test match. Four wickets for 59, with very good support from his other fellow fast bowlers. Ashraf with a wicket and Hassan Ali with the wicket of Roston Chase. So after the end of uh, an innings each for both teams, the West Indies slightly ahead. We heard that Ms. Paul Hack uh, was still very comfortable with the position starting day three. I'm sure that will be the sentiment echoed by the Pakistan players. They now have a chance to bat and bat themselves, maybe into a position of strength. West Indies can't believe that Brathwaite hasn't raised his finger. They've gone upstairs. Copy, Greg. Third umpire to television director. We have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please?
very close to both bottom pod. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm. Ultra Edge coming up. There's a flat line as the ball is next to the bat. There is no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking, please, James? Pitching outside off, impact in line. Wicket's hitting. I'm ready to go back on field to Greg. Greg, I'm going to have to ask you to overturn your decision to out. You're on screen now. Okay, my Roche was very convinced. So he knew that um, that was an out LBW. The umpire did not give it. Referred up. And then, but out LBW for no score. It's one for one. That's a lovely shot. Pleasing to the eye. For Abid Ali. Very nice shot to come off the mark. Over pitched by Jaden Seals. And he was aiming for the leg cut. It did swing a little bit. But swung right into the middle of the bat. Placement and power. That's nice. Look at his eyes directly over the contact point of ball and bat. A repeat dose. It's a shot that Abed Ali likes. He was dismissed by it in the first innings. So it means Seals has to pull his length back. Well, this one is a little bit wider, but still as full. There are four slips and two gullies. So there's no room for mistakes. He does like the shot. Oh, unfortunate for Craig Brathwaite, rebounding off his body over the rope. Big effort put in there by the captain. Of course, he'd be disappointed he didn't get that. There's a fit movement that um, in Bishop has been focusing on. Forward left. That one was a second four. Better foundation for him, not so much for Craig Brathwaite. Brilliant delivery. I think Jaden says is now warming up. That was an absolutely beautiful delivery. A Jaffer, but not an edge. Just a little bit. Pitch exactly where he wanted it. You can see the seam. It's facing slip. But once it hits the ground, it should go away. Should be a couple of leg buys. Or might be four. Yep. Four runs. Azarali getting his first boundary. 27 for one after 13 overs. Gets the outside edge, but uh, soft hands keeping it down. And consecutive boundaries now for Pakistan. This run for Abid Ali after 16 deliveries. You're just doing what he has to do and what needs to be done. Just sticking around Abid Ali. And gets in the line of this one. Just beats that slip region area. Advances down the pitch. Wonderful blow from Abid Ali. The first six of the match. Sublime strike. Absolutely beautiful use of the feet. I think this is premeditated. Just advanced. Made sure he got to the pitch, didn't pull across the line. Hit it exactly back in the same line that in which it came. Edged, dropped. Jason Holder has taken quite a number of catches in the slips for the West Indies. A brilliant one in the first innings. Diving away to his left. This time, wasn't able to hold on. Kimar Roche doing exactly what his captain wanted of him, getting that edge. 
and just hits and grasped it. The man at second slip should not be going to his left. The man at first slip should be going to his right. This is a right-hander. Going after him once again. This time, Aza Ali, not entirely in control, but gets the boundary nonetheless. So a clear intent against Jumal Warkan from the Pakistani batsman. This one was also premeditated by the batsman, and I think Jumal Warkan saw him coming, tried to hide it into the leg stump, and this one just tucked down to the mid-wicket. There you go. That's a, a one-day shot. So you would expect that they're trying to target Warkan. Elegant. Absolutely supreme. This time from Aza Ali, totally in control and consecutive boundaries. Shot of the morning. Timing here, perfect. This time, it's not a fast bowler, so he has to time this, along with some of the accuracy of getting that ball between extra cover and cover. Edged. Dropped short. You keep talking about that, Colin Croft, and the position of the wicket keeper. So twice in two overs, Aza Ali has edged and survived. Sometimes I'm very upset that I'm right. This is way, that's just such a juicy edge, and it drops in front. I think Joshua De Silva has to take a step or two ahead. He's done it now. Swept away. Good connection. And gets the boundary. Another boundary for Abid Ali. End of the over. 56 for one. Clean them up. Does get the reward. Kima Roach. This one seems sharply back. Hits the leg stump of Aza Ali. Might feel a little bit unlucky, but has had luck going his way previously. And just as I was mentioning how much of a welcome this would be for the West Indians, they get that breakthrough. Didn't bang that much, but <laughs> Roach is celebrating because he's got the wicket that the West Indies needed. As a rally, he's gone to 23, 56 for two. And it's lunch. The umpires have called play on day three. West Indies picks up two wickets in this period. Both wickets falling to Kim Roach, who continues to spearhead this West Indian bowling lineup. And Pakistan would have erased the deficit and now they lead by 20. West Indies lost both wickets for just two runs earlier today. Warkan going for one and then Joshua the Silver LBW to Shaheen Shah Afridi who got both wickets. The Silver made 21. The confirmation of the bowling. Mohamed Abbas picked up three. Shaheen Shah Afridi four for 59. Very impressive. And a wicket apiece for Fahim Ashraf and Hassan Ali. All out for 253. Pakistan starting badly. And remember, LBW to Roach for no score and just on the click of lunch as a rally bowl, but one that kept a little bit low for 23, 56 for two. Kima Roach stands out once again, two for eight. For him so far, very expensive Jumel work and there seemed to be a clear ploy to attack him. None of the other bowlers in the wickets column just yet. Pakistan in their first innings, 217 West Indies, 253, a lead of 36. Pakistan in their second, 56 for two, an overall lead of 20 at this stage. That's the highest class of Babar Azam. The only thing you'll see better is his cover drive. That's just a touch. Yeah, such good timer, such a good timer of, of, of the cricket ball at Baba Azam. Just gets onto that front foot. 
and works this one into that onside. And gets him four runs and gets off the mark with four runs. Such class. Brilliant. What a change in bowling. Not a great shot. But the 19-year-old Jaden Seals will celebrate. First ball of a new spell. And we just can't keep him out of this game, Jaden Seals and Jason Holder. Getting that false a shot from Abid Ali. And he celebrates. Second time in this innings, he's gotten Abid Ali. 34. Pakistan 65 for three. Brilliant, brilliant. He likes these A's. He really does. He's off and running. What a young talent this young Jaden Seals is. Yeah, bowling the perfect line, the perfect length, a perfect delivery to get that edge. And he takes off. In celebration seals for what Alam has to go without scoring. Pakistan 65 for four. It's a good shot over pitched. And a busy Rizwan needs no second invitation. And over pitched delivery from Seals. A full face driven by Rizwan. Short ball does come, it's a top edge. All the way for six, but not controlled. We were questioning why that fielder was out deep square. But that short ball did come into play. Fine leg just being more in off the ring. It's just a simple push. He's quite intoxicating. Baba Azam, when you look at him bat, oh, just beautiful from him. He's going to have to play a real big hand here because he's got a big job to pull his team out of this hole. Again, trying for that leg cut of pitched up. A little bit slower, I think, from Jason Holder. But that Baba Azam, the full face of the bat, he knew that was four from the time he hit it. That's skillful from Baba Azam. He could have opted to go a lot straighter. He knew the mid on fielder was there, but went squarer with a flick of the wrist. Four runs to end the over, 89 for four. This is a nice shot. Maybe a little bit of the inner part of the bat, but the batsman has already advanced one and a half steps. So you know that he's looking to be positive. Baba again. Protection in the deep, but gets the boundary nonetheless. Jumal Warkan couldn't hold that back in. So it starts the over with the boundary. Does Mohammed Rizwan. A short length, short pitched delivery from Jaden Seals. We won from Mears and with the keeper up, it was always going to be a difficult take. Four buys the result. And 
Yeah, poorly lined delivery, especially with the wicket keeper being up. Firmly struck on another boundary, this time well in front of Square. And that man, Jumel, work and again cannot get there. So another four with that pull shot for Mohamed Rizwan. And again, off uh, Jaden Seals. It's a lot of wit. Uh, getting on top of this one and pulling uh, for four runs. Mohamed Rizwan going past that 23 that he would have scored in the first innings. Down, Craigie. And up, up, up. Well done, Craigie. The ground staff were shouting at Joel Wilson at square leg prior to that delivery, and I think they've told him you need to get off because the rain is imminent. Hurricane Colin is speeding on, speeding on to the field. So, starting to see those drops appearing here at Sabina Park. Good proactive umpiring and from the ground staff as well give them enough time to bring the covers on so they will take tea the lead by Pakistan is 81 117 for four who has this break in play affected the most teams will tell you they prefer to be the fielding unit Oh, because the batsmen have to start all over on, again on, and no on, margin for error. Colin Croft, hello to you. Good afternoon. Short period of play. Yes, good afternoon, Ian Bishop. Good afternoon to our viewers everywhere. The West Indies have got all the advantages here. Oh. Got about an hour and a half or so. We could go till 6.30, you were saying, if conditions allow. Four seconds. They've gone for it. Review right, Joe. Third on part of television director. We have a player review for caught behind. The original decision is not out. I've already established it's a fair delivery. Can I move on to front on spin vision, please? There's definitely a deflection there. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to see if it's bat involved. Ultra Edge coming up, Joe. There's a flat line as the ball passes the bat. It clips the back leg. James, I'm satisfied and ready to go back on field to Joel. Joel, you stay with your original not out decision. You're on screen now. Review lost. At the West Indies still have a couple more. Very good from the busy Mohammed Rizwan. He takes no time to settle in. You know he's going to play his shots. A very busy body, very diminutive. A lot of power. Timing. It's it hard. One of Pakistan's best batsmen. That's actually nicely played. I, on top of the contact point of ball and bat, kept it down well. There's a man at cover point and a man at gully. Brilliant, brilliant. That is why the fielding team has more margin for error. Punched away first ball for four, but Holder strikes back. The length of this delivery is the one that I really enjoyed because it was not where you could drive or you could go back. I think Mohammed Rizwan here was caught. He wasn't sure if to come forward or go back. A nice leg cutter. Joshua De Silva would accept that. Every time, excellently bowled by Jason Holder. Rizwan is gone. He's gone for 30, 121 for five. Okay. 
That one came back in from Kemar Roach. A little bit of movement inwards to the right-hander. Nicely played by Babar. Kept it down. A nice outside edge. He started swinging in, then cut off to hit the ground. Goes after that one. Gets it over. The slip feelers and rushes across the boundary for four. Deliberately tried to go after that one. Baba Azam and gets the boundary. Yeah, real loose shot from him, but given wit. And with, of course, no third man in play. Uh, he gets over that uh, slip region and gets four runs. Edged, dropped. Jimin Blackwood, the guilty party this time. Moving across to his right. And that's exactly what Cal Mears was trying to do, get that outside edge and the three slips in position. In and out, very similar to the one that Jason Holder grasped a little bit earlier. Opportunity goes a begging. Catch it. Bola. 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 They were looking for two sent back. Fahim Ashraf uh, will be better advised to take note of what transpired in the first innings. Well, Baba shouted really hard here uh, for when he was coming back for that second. He looks up, there he is. Baba is saying, get back. And he shouted really hard. More in control of this. Way more bat on offer to that delivery. Guides it through that backward point region. Gets a couple of runs, then the over 146 for five. There is a sweep shot. Very bold by Baba Azam. Properly executed. Brings up the 150 for Pakistan. And ends the over on the high. Last ball of the last over. Took this one from outside the line of the off stump, which makes it easier in terms of the execution. Oh, off breaks when they turn, but at least he's bowling from around the wicket, drifting the ball into the left hander. He's got a forward short leg in catching position and a slip. That's a six for in Test match cricket, Craig Brathwaite. 22 Test match wickets to his name. As the wicket of Raul Dravid, Yunus Khan, Tamim Iqbal. Changing the field point comes into that leg slip position. Oh. Through everyone. Goes for four. And four runs it is. 50 up as well for Baba Azam, the captain. Standing tall. Not the ideal way to bring up the landmark. But well, he'll take it and they'll take it too. That one bounced and turned inside edge. Seven fours out of that 52. Oh! Sliding down. As indicated by Ruston Chase. Difficult time for Baba Azam. But I'm sure he will prefer being out there, facing the brunt of this pressure from the West Indies bowlers. Oh. 
Catch it, Smart. Go ahead, Joey. So far, so good. One ball to go for this over. And the field is going to be adjusted a little bit. The man at Silly Point now goes at another straighter short leg. Catch him! 160 for five. Went for the cut shot. Could have easily gotten the outside edge. Baba Zam with a right smile. Final delivery of the day's play. Goes round the wicket. Here we go as we come to the end of the third day's play in this test match. Leg slip, leg slip. Another change in the field. The backward square comes into leg slip. Leg gully. Just padded this one away. Should be signal a dead ball. Confirmed by umpire Joel Wilson. That will be end of play for today. Pakistan 160 for five. Baba Azam, Fahim Ashraf will be very happy with the fact that they've survived the day's play. Baba Azam in particular with a half century would have seen all the West Indian bowlers and he will finish the day giving Pakistan a lot of hope. Runs here. Trickles into the boundary line and four added to the total for Pakistan. Yeah, just trying to take his bat away. Beating that slip cordon. Edged and taken. You've been hearing from the man and now you're seeing him in action. Catch number seven diving away to his left and a one-handed stunner from Joshua De Silva. Oh, this is effort. This is exactly what you want to see as a bowler. You want to see your wicket keeper going all out. A full stretch dive to his left. And a one-hander. Great wickets come from great catches. Fahim Ashraf has to go for 20. Pakistan 168 for six. And again, what a masterful stroke. Jason Holder dances, celebrates. And another wicket for the West Indies this morning. And again within that region. That's a good change from skipper Craig Rathwaite. A key wicket of Baba Azam. This is just good bowling from Kyle Mears. One seventy for seven. Got his man. 
Jaden Seal strikes an improvement on his test best figures as it stands right now. And that length, once again, the length that Kima Roach spoke about from Jaden Seals does just enough to get the outside edge and another catch for Joshua the Silver, his eighth in the match so far. Yasir Shah goes for four, 180 for eight. That should go for six. It really is a good strike by Hassan Ali. 150 the lead. Just advances down the pitch to Carl Mears and deposits him back over his head. A massive blow here at Sabina Park. The second six of the innings, the second six of the match, both to Pakistan. And that has prompted Joshua De Silva to come up to the stumps just to keep him. And by him, I mean Hassan Ali in his crease. Keep him honest. The point goes to cover point as well. So a full slip, maybe a third slip, fly slip, cover point. Long on, long off, deep mid-wicket. Fine leg on the boundary. Yeah! Jomel Warwick, and you need to do better than that, surely. It's gone to his favoured hand, but they're important runs for Pakistan and Hassan Ali. And this might just prompt the taking of that second new ball. Smashes this one. Warren. Just to the left of Warrican, who, like you mentioned, should have done much better with that. But useful runs. <laughs> careful, Jaden Seals. Careful. Has it pitched on? That's one of the questions. They've convinced Brathwaite again, Craig. Third on part, the television director. We have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already checked the front foot and established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? It doesn't appear to be any bat. However, I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm. Ultra Edge coming up, Joe. There's a flat line. Flat line as the ball passes next to the bat. There is no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking, please? Just waiting on ball tracking, building. Ball tracking coming up. Impact, pitching in line, impact in line, wickets hitting. I'm ready to go back on field, Joel. Joel, I'm gonna have to ask you to overturn your decision to out. You're on screen now. Career best for Jaden Seals. He wanted it, he pleaded with the captain, convinced him to go for it this time correctly. A legend in the making is what Kimar Roach described. Jaden Seals, Shaheen Shah Afridi goes without scoring 192 for nine. Goes down the ground. And all the way for six. A clean strike from Hassan Ali. Well, this is what he does. And. These are very, very useful runs. It's still the old ball. So I think Marucci will have a quick word with his captain about getting a new ball. An attempted slow ball. It didn't hit it the way he would have liked. Hit the top of the bat, but a lot of power back over the bowler's head. Finds a gap. Didn't think he expected to place it in that region. But Pakistan will take it, brings up the 200 now. Yes, another slow ball, I think. 
probably tried here by Roach is wide. A big edge. Now Joshua Silva will have to become Superman to get up there and to his right. It was really high. Probably would have gone over the top of first slip too. Jaden Seals has an opportunity to create history here. To become the youngest West Indian fast bowler to get five wickets and he does so. Taking the record from Alf Valentine, this young man has created history. Absolutely well caught. And I think it's absolutely fitting too that Kemar Roach took that catch down at fine leg. Seals would be very, very pleased with this. Five wickets. He's 19 years old. You knew that he would do this. He would try to hit the ball. And that is very well caught. That ball stayed up a long, long time. So Seals ends up but a five for 55, Hassan Ali 28, 203 all out. A moment to make all West Indians proud. Jaden Seals getting his maiden five wicket in Test Match Cricket. Five for 55 in just under 16 overs. The young man from Trinidad and Tobago standing tall doing exactly what his team would have wanted and closing the pakistan innings off 203 is what pakistan will finish on the west indies will now need 168 for victory in this first test match absolutely Excellent conditions this morning. Nice breeze blowing. This is Pakistan's second innings. A good hand by the captain, Barbara Zamba. Once he's removed by Mayors, good catch by Holder for 55. A nice little hand down at the bottom by Hassan Ali for 28. 203 all out. Kimar Roach, three for 30. Excellent bowling by Jaden Seals. His first five wicket haul in Test cricket. The youngest West Indian to get five wickets in a Test match, replacing as Valentine. Five for 55, 15 overs and four balls. And that's the West Indies need just 168. I say just, not quite sure that it's going to take some getting. And that's the state of the game. Shouldering arms, loud appeal. Looked outside the line of the off stump. Close. Did not play a shot. I think they're considering five seconds. It has to do with whether the umpire thinks it was going to go on to hit the stump. The review taken. Copy Greg, review for LBW, no shot played. Third umpire to television director, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already checked and established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Okay, no shot played. Can you move on to ball tracking, please? Pitching outside off. Impa outside, wickets missing. I'm ready to go back on field to Gregory. Gregory, stay with your not out decision. You're on screen now. Umpire Gregory Bradwitt stays with his decision. This time, Gregory Brathwit raises the dreaded finger and immediately Powell reviews. W. The original decision is out. I've already checked the front foot and established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? And it doesn't appear to be any bat. I'm going to check ultra edge to confirm. There's a flat line on ultra edge. There is no bat involved. 
Can you move on to ball tracking, please, James? Just waiting on ball tracking, Greg. Ball tracking coming up. Pitching outside off, impact in line. Wickets missing. Can you go back on field to Greg? Greg, I'm going to ask you to overturn your decision to not out. You're on screen now. Was that off the leading edge? Runs uh, for Karen Powell. He'll be relieved. He was on a pair. Gets four for the West Indies. Exactly where fourth slip would have been. He was playing this to leg. Or pitching leg stump. He's flicking to leg. It goes directly where fourth slip would have been. Again, another challenge. And given out once again by Gregory Brathwaite. And a repeat in terms of the review from Paul. Television director, we have a player review for LBW. The original decision is out. I've already checked and established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? But it doesn't appear to be any bad. I'm going to need Ultra Edge to confirm. Ultra Edge coming up. There's a flat line and a gap between bat and ball. There's no bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking when available, please? Pitching outside off, impact in line, wickets, umpires call. I'm ready to go back on field to Greg. Greg, stay with your out decision. You're on screen now. Clipping by a whisker. It stays with the umpires call. And it is a dreaded decision for Karen Paul, who has to depart, gone for four. First wicket for Pakistan, four for one. Now it goes the other way. It's a lottery. And this is where Abbas is so good. Hitting that good length area. The front edge of it. Over and over. And Lock going his way, uh, Bonner gets an inside edge of this delivery, swinging into him. They go for it. Copy, Greg. Third umpire to television director, we have a player review for caught behind. The original decision is not out. I've already established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Yeah, the ball appears very close to the bat. I'll need ultra edge to confirm if there's an edge. Ultra Edge coming up. Yeah, there's a spike on Ultra Edge. Just rock and roll it, please, James. Yeah, there's a clear spike on Ultra Edge. I'm going to have to go back to on field to Gregory. Gregory, I'm going to have to ask you to overturn your decision to out. You're on screen now. Decision has to be overturned by Gregory Brathwaite. Craig Rathwaite has to go for two. And this was good just getting him to play this one, uh, Shine Shah Freedy. Squaring him up somewhat. And all celebrations for Pakistan. Craig Rathwaite has to go for two. West Indies 15 for two.
question asked again. Umpires are earning their pay today. Five seconds to review. Just copy, Joe. Third on part, television director. We have a player review for LBW. The original decision is not out. I've already checked and established it's a fair delivery. Can you move on to front on spin vision, please? Uh, it doesn't appear to be any back. Can I have Ultra Edge just to confirm, please? Ultra Edge coming out. The bat hits the pod. There's a flat line, flat line. No bat involved. Can you move on to ball tracking when available, please, James? Ball tracking coming up, Joel. Pitching in line, impact in line. Wickets missing. I'm ready to go back on field, Joe. Joe, stay with your original not out decision. You're on screen. Clean them up. Talking about youth, the exuberance of youth once again. As our illustrious colleague Ian Bishop described him, a diamond in the rough. Shaheen Shah through the strikes again. Well, this one was pitched up a little bit more. You can see the seam coming back in, a nice inside edge, and that stump is removed. He'll take it any time. Goes down in the box as bold. Inside edge. Pakistan has gotten a third wicket. Bond has gone for five. It's 16 for three. Excellent timing from Ruston Chase. Presenting the full face of the bat, even from the crease, and gets a boundary. A little bit of a pitch by Muhammad Abbas. And Chase just leant into this. I didn't think he had to move that much. And made off his straight. His recover is to recover point. It's very, very square. So there was a big space in front of the batsman. This is an exquisite shot from Jimin Blackwood. Just clips that one nicely into the vacant area. And his first boundary gets off the mark. Interesting shot for it to come off the mark here for Blackwood. It was special about middle stump. Expansive movement over mid wicket. He gets it away, but I don't think he got it away the way he would have wanted. A little bit of the inner part of the bat, but he got four. Over the top, German Blackwood in typical German Blackwood fashion. And gets another boundary. 30 for three. Last ball of the previous over. Full. Goes through the line. Deliberately tries to go over the top. Remember how he was dismissed in the first innings. A similar shot. Brilliant. Absolutely delightful. From Ruston Chase. Languid. Full face of the bat, high elbows, and another boundary. He'd be very pleased with this. The ball was straight, scrambled scr uh, seam, and he looked at that hitting the middle of the bat. Timing, once it's passed, the bowler does four. Well played in the end by Ruston Chase. Umpires have called play so it will be launched on the fourth day at sabina park the west indies in pursuit of that target score still need 130 more to win 168 the target score we're going to launch at 38 for three a session that produced eight wickets and just the 81 runs so the bowling clearly dominating once again, here at Sabina Park, Shine Shah Fridi has been dominant in that opening burst.
Pakistan started at 160 for five with a lot of hopes in Babar Zam. But then once uh, Karen Myers took him for 55, then it was more or less the, the silver and seals show. Arsenal did club a couple of boundaries in his 28. I think Pakistan would be disappointed to have made only 203 all out. The bowling for the West Indies, no disappointment there for Jade and Seals. Maiden five wicket haul, five for 55 and really well deserved for him. Three wicket for Kimar Roach, the leader of this bowling attack and Kyle Mears continues to pick wickets here and there. Jason Holder rewarded with one for himself. Nothing for the spinners, Warwick and Chase and Brathwit. In pursuit of 168, Craig Brathwit, Kyron Powell and Kuma Bonner all fell cheaply. Ruston Chase and Jimin Blackwood trying to do a repair job. And that's Pakistan's bowling in the second innings. Shaheen Shah Afridi, outstanding. Five over three for 17. Really, really bowled well. Nice little deflection from Jermaine Blackwood. Went down immediately. Got away from the body, but no problem. The shortness of length allowed him to deflect. Yes, he kept this one down nicely. Ball didn't bounce that much. May have just hit one of the better spots. You see, you wait. You wait. If you can wait and seize your moment, as Blackwood has done here for that ball. 50 up, 53 for three. This was a good shot. Short of a length, outside off. Blackwood made no mistake with that. Just hit it through. Cover point for four. 115 needed by the West Indies. Beautiful, terrific shot by Jermaine Blackwood. He has been tested a lot outside the line of the awesome. This time he conquers. Just edging away from that 115 target you mentioned. But I just like the application. Waiting a bit longer, Blackwood. And playing once he has that wit, and it's in that area that he's comfortable in. Went for it with a heave hole. German Blackwood. Lucky enough for took the inside edge, raced away for four. Yeah, we've seen him done this a lot, Jermaine Blackwood. But he just has to be a little tighter. I wouldn't want to lose a wicket now, especially with this partnership of a 45 building. That's a sumptuous looking on drive from Ruston Chase. Celebrates the 50 partnership between these two. 67 for three. Last ball of the previous over. Oh, how good was this? Head position, bat position. Not very much of a stride, but connection was on point from Ruston Chase. Terrific shot. Now that delivery was there for the stroke and the execution was perfect. I was about to say that being the device captain as well, there's an added responsibility. But this is just good stuff from Blackwood. Not trying to overhit this one. Goes through the line of it. And he gets four more runs. He gets to this one, wasn't deceived with the change in feel. The execution was perfect, four runs. Continues to be in that good form. And Jermaine Blackwood, just look at this, beautiful. Getting that front foot forward, full face and driven to cover. Edge this time 
This time he's taken Imran Butt, the catcher. A brilliant slip fielder, Imran Butt. Success for Fahim Ashraf and Pakistan. This is what Pakistan really, really needed, a wicket, just to bring them back into this game. 84 needed by the West Indies. Imran Butt takes that catch. Chase is gone. Good partnership, but it's, he's now gone. 22. It's 84 for four. Catch it. Big shot. Over the infield. One bounce into the boundary. German Blackwood goes closer into that half century mark. Yes, Samuel Badri and I were talking about. Blackwood this morning, and I nominated him to get some runs. And he's helping me out here, but I'm not quite sure I like that. He got away with it. Just have to wait to see if that brings up his 50. Jimmy and Blackwood, it does. So some bat involved, and another landmark and milestone for him, and appreciation all around. But not just there yet. Jimmy Blackwood and the West Indies, 92 for four. Is Jean Gorn, that man again, Imran Butt and Fahim Ashraf. What a combination for Pakistan. A pair of ducks for Carl Mears. We're just talking about an unbeaten double century. Well, it's two noughts now. This is Inram Butt's third catch of this test. And again, he stays down, number 62. Just waits for the ball to come into his hands. Didn't rush it. Just allowed the ball to come him. And Mears is gone. He's gone for no score. 92 for five. The West Indies wobbling. Elegant. Really sublime from Jason Holder. Targets down the ground, favors that area. Brilliant shot. But as the man at mid off, and even he didn't move, this was caressed more than anything else. The bowler couldn't get down. The man at mid off didn't move at all. Timing, hitting, perfect. And that's what walking down the pitch in that couple of deliveries previously did. Just upset the length of the bowler. So he set that up quite nicely, Jason Holder. And there he goes again, and a tickle down the leg side. Brings up the 100 for the West Indies. Two boundaries and over, just by some movement in the crease. And brings that equation down to 65 now required to win this first test match. Jason Holder again coming down, perhaps a step, step and a half out of the crease. That's a brilliant catch. Imran Butt again. He is Superman. Well, whatever. So the burning desire West Indians uh, would have had. The extinguisher is out. Just playing away from his body. A wideish delivery. How about this? for an effort. Imran Butt diving away to his left and accounts for the wicket of German Blackwood. Going for 55, 111 for six now. <laughs> Castled. Second time Hassan Ali has gotten Jason Holder. And he conquers once again. This is a massive blow for the West Indies. Jason Holder, very reliable with the bat. Just misses this one. Brilliance from Hassan Ali. Again, control just shifting in favor of Pakistan. Holder, frustrated, disappointed. Just 16 from him. 
114 for seven now. And Pakistan will feel very confident going into T. Haven't gotten the wicket of Jason Holder. Four wickets to Pakistan in this session. They control the run rate. They've kept themselves in this contest. And they'll give the West Indies a lot to think about when that post -tea session starts. A look at West Indies batting. Well, Jim and Blackwood carried the hopes until he was dismissed. He scored 55 from 78. Roston Chase showed resilience as well with his 22. But wickets kept falling on Pakistan. They were able to get seven wickets. All bowlers coming to the four, stepping up for Pakistan. Shaheen Shah Freedy got the first three wickets with his brilliance and the new ball. And then Hassan Ali, Fahim Ashraf, the all-rounder, showing his worth with the ball, getting two as well. So that's where this test match sits at the moment. Still uncertain as to where it will go in terms of outcome. The West Indies still requiring 54 more runs to win. Goes for it. Dropped it. Mohamed Abbas. It would have been a brilliant catch. We've seen quite a few of those already in this test match. Just not to be for Mohamed Abbas. Joshua De Silva taking on that short delivery. Not in control, but lives to fight another day. Yeah, clearly being a bit high in and spilled. Excellent shot from Joshua De Silva. Pumped down the ground. Welcome boundary for the West Indies and for the Silver. I just made that initial movement across the off. And how sweet was this driving in the air, officially? Four runs. Was that an inside edge? Let's see what the umpire signals. Runs given. So when he does get the edge, Mohamed Rizwan wasn't able to hold on. But that angle from wrong the wicket causing some trouble for Kimaruch. Uh, confirmation. We've seen him done so well, Mohamed Rizwan. Yeah, confirmation of that edge. Squeezes this one through. Roach will be pleased. He's been searching for a boundary. He finally gets one at the end of the over. West Indies now, they move to 133 for seven. Cowboy, cowboy. Yeah, yeah. Edged, edged, and gone. So the breakthrough finally comes. Shane Shah Freedy, his persistence paying off. And Pakistan strikes. And this is the wicket that they really needed. Joshua De Silva pulled across, away from his body. There's no movement of the feet. He's, the ball is going well wide. Shaim Shah really celebrates. He's gotten his fourth wicket, four for 45 so far. Joshua De Silva has gone for 13. It's 142 for eight. Edged and races for four. He will say he finds the gap. All West Indians will say that. But he ends the over with a boundary. 19 more required for the West Indies. 149 for eight. Short goes for the pull shot. It's in the air. And it's dropped. Was that the match? Hassan Ali couldn't hold on. He is very embarrassed. He well should be. That could be the game down, but that was a relatively easy catch. He did, can't complain about the sun. The sun is behind him. That's one went up. And I think this was a setup. High in the air. 
Four fielders after it. Four fielders. Rizwan, brilliant. Brilliant from Mohamed Rizwan. Pakistan can see the light. Some of it anyway. Well, if it ever comes down to catches, win matches. This man, Mohamed Rizwan, will be one of those players looked at. This is a superb work. Even the reserve players uh, ran on the field to enjoy that. Jomel Warakan goes for six. West Indies 151 for nine. Will they look for two? May not be a thing. Is a thing. Two gotten, 12 to get. Nine to get. One ball to survive. That was the searching Yorker, just short of it. Well played, Jaden Seals. Seven more. Four runs. West Indies are too closer. Is Rizwan from hero to zero? Or am I being harsh? Remarkable test victory. For the teacher and his student, Kima Roach and Jaden Seals take a bow. West Indies win by one wicket, just one, and go one up in this series. Pakistan have fought valiantly. This has been one of the great spectacles of Test Match Cricket.